Hi, I'm Brandon from Lemon Winnie Wear. In this video, we're going to cover all the steps you need to perform to start using Lemon Winnie Wear now. What that means is we're going to cover vehicle types, setting up your fleet, how to do point to point pricing, distance based pricing. We'll look at some rate line items as well. By the end of all of this, you should be able to type in a pickup date and time using the rate lookup tool, give it a location and a drop off and pull a price that is stored in your system. I'll even show you how to edit it and change it. First, let's go ahead and get logged in. The next thing you'll want to do is fill out your contact page details. It's important because your customer's reservation confirmation will contain your contact info. It's also important because by default, Lemony will use the email addresses listed here for your communication to your customers. There is a spot to upload a logo here. If you do upload the logo, it will replace the text-based contact information on all of your forms. If you want both, you should include the contact info with your logo image. Make sure you hit update after you enter all of your contact information. While you're at it, the next step you want to do is, is set your time zone. You find your time zone in company preferences. Once you set your time zone, make sure to hit update my company preferences. Next up, you want to add a vehicle type. To add a vehicle type, you want to give the vehicle type a code, a description, make sure the status is set to active, and then set any passenger or luggage capacities. Make sure to review the associated with service types field. Select the service types you want your vehicle to be used for. As an example, if you would use this vehicle on all types of service, then you would select all. Now click add new vehicle. Adding vehicle types in Limo Anywhere is essential for setting the company's hourly per passenger and distance rates. Notice the rates tabs at the vehicle type level this is where your per hour, per passenger, and distance-based pricing is stored. We'll come back to here later. Limo Anywhere uses service types to categorize trips based on their purposes, to apply corresponding vehicle type pricing, and to apply their rental agreements. Now that we're finished adding a vehicle type, let's add a car to our fleet that belongs to that vehicle type. When adding a vehicle to your fleet, make sure you fill out all of the required information that's the fields that have the asterisk next to them. One thing to note in this section is the code can be anything. I like to use a code that is similar to the description. Keep it short here. I like three to four characters at most. Notice the vehicle type drop down here it says sports utility vehicle SUV. That comes from the vehicle type that we created earlier. Now that we're finished adding the vehicle type and the car to your fleet, let's head over to rate management so we can set up some point to point pricing. Point to point pricing, which is like a flat rate. Um, that is something like a trip from an airport to a city address. To be able to use point to point pricing, you'll need to set up your service areas or zones, and those must be created in the zone setup. To access your zone setup, click on the three dots or ellipsis next to the from or to field. Here is a zone I created for the city of Irving, Texas. If I click on the zone and hit edit, you'll see how it's configured. A zone is comprised of a few things, a code, a description, the city that belongs in its zone, the state, and the zip codes that you want in the zone. This means that you could split up areas on a map by the zip code. If a piece of routing on a reservation has an address that contains this information, it will belong to this zone. I want you to create a zone, giving it a zone code, description, city, state, and one or two zips for now. Airports can be zones as well. And if you notice in my zone table, which is a list of all of my zones, I have one with an airport code. If I click on it and edit it, you'll notice that the only thing I need is a zone code, which is the airport code and the description, which I can call it whatever I want. Now that my zones and my vehicle types are set up, I can start entering pricing between them. So as an example, I can say from DFW to South Irving in an SUV, cost $160. I can also decide to apply tolls, parking, and taxes. You are able to customize 
the fills you see here, flat rate tolls, parking, standard tax one and standard tax two, but for now, we'll keep them at default. I want to create a rate from DFW to South Irving, but I also want to create a rate from South Irving to DFW as well. I can quickly do that by making sure the Create Reverse Rate button is selected before I click Add Rate. Notice now that I have the SUV rates that I created in my rate table. This pricing is now stored in your Limo Anywhere system and can easily be applied to a trip matching the set criteria. We're going to use the Instant Rate Lookup to test our work. By pressing the white rate button, you'll access the quick rate lookup screen. From here, you can test your work by entering a test pickup date and pickup time. Entering a pickup location. I'm going to use the pickup location uh, of the airport I created earlier. So I can type in the code and select it with my mouse. And the drop off location, I can enter in one of the zip codes from earlier. That zip code belonged to one of my zones. From here, you can see that I have the rate that I created earlier. Take note of the gratuity that was built into this price. I'll show you how to edit that later, but for now, just know that gratuity is going to be included on every reservation unless you go in and change this value. From here, if you decide to book this reservation, you can add the client's contact information. Notice on this page, there is no service type selection visible. For the quick rate lookup and ask made for passengers, service type selection can automatically apply based on the type of trip. As an example, a trip from one street address to another street address can be automatically determined to be a point to point, while a trip from an airport to a street address can automatically be determined to be an airport pickup slash arrival. We won't reconfigure these for now, but it's important to know where to change these settings. So click the cog icon from the instant rate lookup. Here you can see all of your service types on the left and the type of routing assigned to that service type on the right in the default column. Notice airport arrival is assigned to from airport. They're the same thing. So whenever the routing signifies that there is an airport arrival by having the pickup address contain an airport, it's going to know that that is from airport. Now you would use this screen to customize the names and the titles of your service types and even add more. There is no need to change these settings for now, but it is important to know that this behavior can be made to work with customized service types. Now that you understand how to set up fixed rates, let's take a look at some of the other pricing types. First, let's check out distance-based pricing. You enable distance-based pricing by going to reservation settings to enable the auto-populate distance total setting. When this setting is enabled, it turns on your distance-based calculation. So I want my distance total to go to one of my fixed rates. Select what service types you want to use with distance-based calculation. As an example, you do fixed rates for airport pickups and drop-offs, but you do distance-based rates with your point-to-point -point trips. In that case, you would only select your point-to-point -point service type under the Applies to Fill. Set whether you want miles or kilometers. There are some route calculation rules in this optimization section. You can play around with these settings to find your preference. Now with the option turned on, all you need to do is click update or save at the bottom. And after you save, we can head back to the vehicle types and add some cost information. Edit the vehicle type that you created before and then head to the rates tab. On the rates tab, click the distance based rates tab. This is where you set up the cost that you want to charge per kilometer or per mile. For this example, we're going to set the SUV to have the first five miles at $5 a mile, the next five miles at $3 a mile, and all remaining miles at $1 a mile. First, let's choose the fill we want the final calculated price to go to. Here, I'm going to select the flat rate fill because it's the same fill I used for my fixed rates we configured before. For the sake of simplicity, I like to keep it the same. This can be configured to go into another rate fill though. I know I'm going to need a total of three calculation line items, so let me hit the plus sign twice to add them. Now I can enter the pricing that I said before. The first five miles at $5 a mile, the next, five miles at $3 a mile, and all remaining miles at $1 a mile. 
So if there are 11 mouths, your first five mouths will be at five, then the next five will be at three, and that single remaining mile will be at one. When I save the changes by clicking the update button, now we can test the same way we tested the flat rate. There is a step we want to do before we start testing. We need to tell Limo Anywhere to actually use distance-based pricing, meaning what pricing strategy to use whenever a certain service type is selected. So to change that, we need to go back to the service type configuration. We'll get there a different way this time by clicking on My Office and going to System Settings, Service Types. It is the first selection here. Now let's click on one of the service types that you configured. I want to work on something for point to point. So I'm gonna click on point to point. This means an address to an address. On your pricing type here, you wanna make sure that this says fixed or distance. What that means is that it's going to try to look up a fixed rate from your rate table first. And if it cannot find a fixed rate, it's going to fall back to distance. This means that you're always going to find a price no matter what. And you can spend time being very specific with your pricing in the markets that you serve the most. Yours may say something different here, but you can click the X to get rid of what's currently in here, and then you could select the fixed or distance. What this means is that whenever there's a service type that is point to point, it is going to set the pricing type to fixed or distance. Another way to break that down is that if your pickup contains an address, like a street address, and your drop-off contains a street address, it's going to apply the service type of point-to-point -to, -point to it, and thus have the pricing type of fixed or distance. Make sure to click Save after you set your pricing type to fixed or distance. Now we can test this by entering in an address to an address using the white rate button. We did not add a zone for Arlington, Texas, or for the zip code of 76011. All we did was set up the distance-based rates for these vehicle types and the service types. And as you see, it's a small rate because they're really close together. They're like right next door to each other. Um, but this is how it works. From this screen, the reservation can be booked again by simply typing in the customer's contact information. So I'm going to select that I want the SUV. And now we can type in the customer's contact information. After you've booked your reservation, you'll be taken to the long reservation form where you'll see the confirmation number at the top left of the page. You'll also get your contact information and your customer details beneath that. There's the address and routing info towards the center, and you'll get your cost and pricing information on the right-hand side. Notice you do have your service type and your vehicle types applied to the reservation based on our configuration from earlier. One last thing, I want to talk about these rate line items and where they come from and uh, how they calculate. So if you go to My Office, Rate Management, and System Rate Manager, you'll be able to see a list of all the rate line items that exist in your system. So you can actually list them all by clicking the Show All radio button and clicking Go. Now this is the list exactly as they are on your reservation page of the rates and their default values. So earlier I mentioned I'll show you where that 20% gratuity came from. If you click on standard gratuity and hit edit, you'll be able to see that it has a default amount of 20%. So this is going to calculate 20% gratuity on every reservation that you create. By now, you should have an understanding of how to configure Limo Anywhere to efficiently price reservations. We've covered everything from setting up your contact information and service types to adding vehicles, defining zones, and implementing various pricing strategies like point-to-point, -point, distance base, and fallback pricing. You also learn how to use the instant rate lookup tool to quickly quote rates, configure your automatic service type selections, and book reservations to view them in the detail reservation screen. Remember, Limo Anywhere offers a wealth of features and customization options. Don't hesitate to explore and experiment to find out what works best for your specific business needs. And as always, if you have any questions or need further assistance, the Limo Anywhere support team is ready to help.